all see the world differently. Sometimes, this diversity can affect what we're trying to achieve or who we are trying to be as a person. Being different can possibly link to hard understandings. In this case, it can accumulate to judgement. An example of this results in many things like racism, gender, sexual orientation, and especially mental health, which is something that people aren't too familiar with. Either they don't think it's normal, or just have insufficient education around the topic, which therefore may lead to discrimination or perceiving the stereotypical nature of mental health. But the question is, how can a mental illness affect you as a person? And what effect does it have on the community around you? From a psychoanalytic perception, an example of this is conveyed in the film The Dark Horse, written and directed by James Napier Robertson. The film is based on a true story about a man named Genesis, played by Cliff Curtis, who has a mental health issue, in this case bipolar, or also known as manic depressive illness, according to the National Institute of Mental Health. It is an illness alternating shift in moods, energy levels, and activity levels. After many years at a mental institution, Genesis is released and is under the care of his brother Araki, played by Wayne Huppy, who is associated with the gang. Nah, no, bro. Don't think I can help you. Be better off with someone else. With that in mind, conflict arises. Genesis then finds a way to escape the torment from his brother by volunteering at a chess club and sharing his expertise in chess towards Māori children with disadvantages. Through Genesis, we are able to observe the different impressions of mental health regarding Genesis's mindset and the impacts it has on society. Mental illness dramatically changed Genesis in how he thinks and observes the world in, throughout the film. For example, the opening scene of The Dark Horse shows a continuous mid-shot of Genesis in a coloured robe while it's walking in the rain. Symbolically, we can see a few things being conveyed about the character. For instance, the use of colours are used to apply an atmosphere of the character's surroundings to enforce the character's mind, or the outside world we call reality. The character's robe contains a mixture of colours that have a rainbow look, that could represent peace regarding Genesis's mindfulness. The rain in the scene, more importantly, represents Genesis's purity and escapism of his mental health condition. Results, these give a bright and uplifting feel and contrasts the character's mental illness, in this case, his bipolar, thus expresses the character's state of mind and who he truly is. Furthermore, we also see the impression of mental health affecting Genesis. If we go a few minutes into the film, we can instantly see a change from these colours and environments. More noticeably, the colour graduates from a bright spectrum to a more monochromatic aspect, indicating a transition of Genesis's mind to reality, the real world. This is used to consequently show the appearance of Gen's mental illness, more openly about the symptoms of his bipolar. In the circumstances Genesis faces, symptoms of the bipolar accumulate throughout the film, as he associates more with a variety of communities, i.e. gang-related environments opposing family environments. The fact that Genesis had to restrain himself from engulfing his thoughts over the two areas he had experienced and been through, ascends to a point where Genesis can't cooperate properly, and therefore becoming depersonalized from reality. We can see this portrayed in a scene where Genesis is observing himself in a mirror, then suddenly becoming depersonalized as we see an illusion of blood pouring out of Genesis's nose. Here we can see the falsehood of Genesis that society depicts just due to his mental health, but not the personal belief Genesis is wanting to get across. Things start to get interesting when mental health begins to interact with the community around Genesis. In a scene during the film, Genesis drives to a neighbourhood to try and find his chess players, that is after he's been compromised from sleeping on a memorial. This is when it starts to get intense for Genesis, as society begins to go against him. We also see the stereotypical nature of Jen's mental health through dialogue. I've been sleeping up in Kothi Hill. Just got out of a mental home, didn't you? You shouldn't be anywhere near those kids. 
Furthermore, this raises an issue for Genesis, as he's just trying to differentiate his thinking between society and himself. And therefore, it makes it hard for Genesis to think properly, resulting in these manic episodes that he has during the film. Don't be frightened of me. Come on, you can play. You can all play. Everybody's welcome to play. It doesn't matter what they tell you. Don't be frightened of me. <laughs> you want me to run the game? And no matter what they tell you. <laughs> Another example that interprets Jean's mental health is during a scene with Jean's brother Araki regarding a chess competition that Jean is interested in. That in mind, he also wants to take Araki's son to the chess competition for a week. However, this results into a massive dispute where it gradually leads Araki to comment about Jean's state of being that accounts for his symptoms of the mental health. To tell you about, I about to what? Ask you. But you know, and what's best for my boy? After some weekend tournament, and what happy endings, and then what? Just want to give him a chance to see something out there in the world. There ain't nothing out there for him. I've been alone with nothing, but I stayed fucking standing. When you fell all apart, I stayed fucking standing, and so will he. That's the real world. That's the shit the rest of us have to deal with while you just take your fucking pills. To help extend this idea even more. The schematic colours are used to express the emotions of the two brothers. Take for example the dark contrast and brightness throughout the scene. Camera shots are also used to make judgmental impacts on each of the characters during the scene. A high angle shot gives a disadvantage making the character feel lonely, imprisoned, slash enslaved by society's views, which we can see used on Genesis. In contrast, low angle shots are used on Araki as an advantage, giving him power over Genesis. Audience can see how Genesis changes as a person with the effects of mental health. Mostly, we see Genesis trying to gain empathy from people who have negative feedbacks about him based on public appearance. More importantly, about Jen's relationships, especially with his brother. With the negative influences of unhealthy relationships and environments, it generates thoughts and emotions that consequently end up to a massive tipping point that Genesis can't handle because of what he was trying to explain, his true nature. And because of this, his mental illness is taking over. The only way Genesis can recover is by focusing on positivity and furthermore, his passion for chess and the chess community, which later we see becomes a fulfillment. Not only this fulfillment helps Genesis, but also helps his brother Araki, who acknowledges Jen and reflects back on what he'd actually become when he criticized Genesis for the, what society thought, but not what Genesis truly thought and expressed. In the film The Dark Horse, the director clearly manages to display aspects of mental health through the main character of how mental health affects you as a person and the community. In New Zealand, Having a mental illness is common, although it is not widely discussed about. Furthermore, it is an issue that should be well more aware and addressed properly. Thank you.